What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Read on the Fly. Uh, we got our bags packed at the airport. We're not going fishing, well, at least not yet, but we are going in the airplane. Look at this. <laughs> this suitcase, it's like a unicycle suitcase. It has one it's wheel so on it. so bad. Oh look, there's a luggage tag right here. Yeah, you can tell that we're, we're not flyers. We're more driving folk. But anyway, we are flying out of Peoria down to Naples, Florida. Uh, Naples, Florida is pretty down south in Florida. I think right now it's like 95 degrees down there, so it is scorching down there. We're going down there to photograph a wedding, so we're gonna have a couple off days, so we're doing some fishing, some sightseeing, trying different foods, trying different beers, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be another vlog where it's just kind of uh, go with the flow. A um, little bit of fishing. Now we're walking to the airport, getting checked in, go through security, and see y'all on the plane. On your chest, wrap the strap around your waist and the buckle in the front. To tighten, pull the loose end of the strap, and upon exiting the aircraft, inflate the vest by pulling down sharply on that right inflation handle. It may also be inflated manually by blowing into the red tube at the top. Each life vest is equipped to the water activated. Right now we just landed in Florida, waiting on the uh, bags to come down the chute. Uh, it's hot, muggy. It's like 10:30 at night, so can't really see the beach or any sights or anything. So we're gonna wait, get our baggage, grab our own car, and head to the hotel. We're gonna land in boat shoes and white silver hair. I think I'm gonna stand out with my beard, my Crocs. All right, we're here to get our rental car. I mean, we got a lot to choose from. This is ours. Nissan Altima, baby. 32 miles to the gallon. I already got the hotel. It's like 11.30. I'm freaking starving. Taylor's starving. We're staying at the inn of Naples, which seems to have a lot of good reviews from TripAdvisor. Then we turn on the TV and <laughs> beat in front of the store. Quick food review. We ordered some dinner from the Parrot Bar. And they had a lot of different unique food. And I got the... Um, Mahi Mahi wrap. And I'm gonna do a little Guy Fieri taste test for y'all. I took a bite out of it, kinda cheated, but I mainly got like veggies and stuff, so here's the Mahi Mahi. Come all the way down to Florida, Taylor gets a Philly cheesesteak and tater tots. <laughs> Greetings from the Sunshine State. It is Thursday morning, 92 degrees. I'm still drinking my coffee. Um, right now we're walking to our car. I'm gonna load up, go grab some sunscreen, and I'm gonna hit up the beach. Got a couple different fly rods. Got a four weight and eight weight. A little variety, a little spice. And uh, got my backpack full of flies, and we're gonna enjoy the beach for the day. All right, here is Clam. I don't know if it was Clam Pass or Clam Bay but I don't know if you guys can tell. Is that a fish? I don't know if you guys can tell by that. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's like a big snook right there. You see him? Yeah. Oh, that thing's huge. He is huge. <gasps> wow. All right, just saw our first snook of the trip. That is what I'm primarily targeting after. Um, unfortunately, we cannot fish from the bridge, so hopefully they're gonna be like that along the beach. But that was pretty sweet to see that snook just swimming around and probably like a foot, two feet of water. Gordon Taylor, this is a chameleon. You know what I mean. Look at the little guy. Ooh. <laughs> 
This is sick. This went up again. There they are, keep going down. We were on the beach. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but there were dolphins out here just breaching the water. It is freaking wild. This water is clear. It's beautiful. There's like hardly anybody on the beach. So they're going to find a spot, set up a little site, and just enjoy our time here. All rigged up. Got the eight weight, Drew's Clouser Minnow. I'm going to strap on the GoPro, fish this surf, and see if I can catch anything. Now, this is very new to me. I've never fished salt water before, let alone from the beach, so. From what everyone says, you just fish from the beach. No need to get in the water, because these snook are like inches in the water, so. First cast of Florida. I don't even care if I catch any fish. Fish out here is so beautiful. A huge school of bait fish right in front of me. There's another school of fish right in front of me. This water a little bit. Oh, got one. Got a fish. Got a fish. <laughs> first fish. All right, first fish of Florida. I don't know what this is. Some comment in the video on what kind of fish this is. I'm not. What? I don't even know where to begin. What this could be, but oh yeah, first fish of Florida. See you, buddy. Kind of finding more calmer water, some of these backwaters. There's gotta be something back here, man. Looks like that same fish I caught earlier. Just swimming around, not sure what those fish are. Kind of getting that sh shadow a little bit. Getting that shade. Oh, dude, something's falling on my, I swear to God, something's falling on my lure, my fly. Using my ninja skills. And it looked like a snook. Had that long, slender body. I don't see him now, it's probably just my imagination. I think I swallowed too much salt water. We're currently taking a break from fishing. I'm out. I'm just floating around. We saw some dolphins earlier. Um, yeah, this is awesome. Taylor's back there. Now I can understand why so many people back home in the Midwest have those salt life stickers on their cars. Lagos Cafe Mediterranean Soul Food mainly because Taylor is Greek and she's all about that Greek food Just woke up from a nap Recharged ready to roll first got indulged in a little southern treat Cheers How to get that? How to recharge your batteries? We slept for like three hours. Yeah, we slept for like three hours and maybe crashed. <laughs> I woke up to watching Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty did. random. But uh, right now we're just walking down this little beach access. 
it's maybe like seven o'clock. Wind's picking up a little bit. Looks like the surf is a little more choppier. Another one of those fish. Like I said before, I have no idea what these are, so leave in the comments on what they are. Caught them right, basically on the shore. As you can tell, I'm no longer on the water right now. Um, the bite was very slow. I caught that one little mystery fish, which I've yet to identify. We are at Mr. Big Fish Seafood Grill, gonna grab some grub. I think I'm gonna get either a grouper or snapper. I've yet to decide. This when you're down here, man, you gotta, get, you gotta try that fresh seafood. So. Who comes down to Florida on vacation, goes to Culver's? I mean, seriously? You gotta get fresh seafood when you're down here. You gotta indulge in the local foods and local beers. So, I'm gonna check the menu out, maybe clear some space on my GoPro and hang out the rest of the night. Back to the hotel room, uh, the big fish, Mr. Big Fish place, it was closed. So, plan B, got tacos. All right, day three. This beach is pretty secluded, not a lot of people on here. I know, the wind's a lot more calmer. Probably 20 yards from the beach. Oh man, I might have to switch GoPros. There's a kid to my right, looks like he's got something. I think he was fishing with live bait, not sure if he's using shrimp or bait fish or what. Yeah, he's got a fish, looks like. <laughs> it looks like he got off too because he's yelling at his friends. Like it's their fault. Hope you guys are enjoying this wonderful noise of the leaf blower behind me. We're gonna have to do some serious cleaning on this reel because I'm sure this salt water is just tearing it up. Beach patrol, ooh, what'd I get? I got something. Another lizard fish, yep. Another Dad gum lizard fish. Right as the beach patrol is driving by. All right, you guys were fun the first time. Second time was cool. But come on now. Oh! Damn, I need to get back on the beach. I just picked something up. That was a huge rookie mistake. I was just walking, I see a huge snook. Spooked him off, so I'm walking in the water. Damn! That sucks. I need to listen to everybody when they say just walk the beach. They're the pros.
guys, as you can tell, we're no longer on the beach. The wind was picking up, and literally as soon as we left, this rain is everywhere. Horrible rain, horrible wind, so we got out of there just in time. I caught zero snook, zero jack, zero anything besides this little lizard fish, which I'm starting to classify as a non-target game species. It's more of a nuisance at this at this point now. I've caught three of them, three or four of them now. Hotel, going to rinse off all the sand. Uh, grab a cold beer and probably just hang out up here for a little bit. I feel like it's pretty awkward that half the time I'm filming, I'm shirtless. And I'm not quite sure how you guys feel about that, but when you're down in Florida, it's 95 degrees. Can't be wearing a cotton t-shirt, y'all. Alrighty, we are up. We are at it. We had a little power nap. Whoa, I'm sorry. I think I ran into a bird's nest. But we're at this place called Tin City. Got a bunch of shops, restaurants. They have some... Uh, boardwalk like a little boardwalk too so we're gonna go over here check it out Uh, we were back at the hotel, we picked up some dinner and brought it back here just because we really don't feel like sitting in a stuffy restaurant. We got live PD on, air conditioning. I got fried grouper, some rice, and I got Key West conch chowder. This is kind of a tongue twister. Stuffed shrimp, wild rice, is that spinach? Mm -hmm. Spinach, hey, that's your song. <laughs> spinach, so we're gonna eat this and hang out for the day and call tonight. Everybody. Happy Saturday and right now I'm on a uh, solo fishing trip. Uh, it's probably about 7 o'clock in the morning and I am walking all the way down the beach to these jetties. It's probably about a mile to walk, ain't gonna lie. Uh, there's quite a few other fishermen here, but I am the only fly angler here right now, or as I can tell, but wind's calm. It looks like the tide's a little low. As I'm walking down, I'm gonna try to spot fish in the surf, see if I can see anything, but another beautiful day. Alrighty, walking down probably half the way. I'm gonna give it a couple casts in here. I think today is free fishing day in Florida, so I assume that this beach is gonna be packed as the day goes on. So a quick little story on walking down to the other spot. Uh, I've seen numerous, probably 10 or 12 different gear fishermen here on the beach today. And I've seen two other fly fishermen. And both times I saw the fly fishermen, we stopped, talked probably, no lie, probably 10, 15 minutes. Uh, one of them was from down here. And the other guy was from up by Chicago area. So that was kind of cool to meet another guy from Illinois. And he had the same issue. He's been fishing all week nothing uh, but like 30 minutes ago he hooked into his first snook he says like 15 six inches long put up a hell of a fight i'm hoping i have the same luck i don't know if he tried to eat it or if i just snagged him pretty wild Well, had another snook chase. As you can tell, I'm not hooting and hollering because he did not eat it.
What a spirit breaker, man. I'm busting my rear the past three days trying to get these fish. Wow, that was rough. Uh, fished here for probably about three hours. Not a single strike. I saw one snook when I was walking back. I chased him for a little bit, but he didn't want to eat. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's some storms rolling in. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for the morning. Walking back to the car now, and uh, I need a beer. How's rough? This is what someone that does not catch fish looks like. All right, so what is a trip? What is vacation without stopping at the local Bass Pro shops? So we're gonna go in there, check it out. Never been to a Bass Pro down south, so let's see what they got. Hey guys, I just wanna say what's up to the vlog. It's Tristan here, we're out in Bass Pro shops and we're buying DOAs today. Oh yeah, brother. All right, Tear it up. <laughs> Those guys that you just saw, I have no idea who they were. Uh, they didn't ask what my channel name was, so. I'm a little hurt by that, but it was all, all good. Got some tarpon. Yeah. Saltwater poppers. Two bucks. A bunch of marlin jigs. These are pretty rad. I might buy one just to buy one. Now we're getting to my speed. Fly life. Got a little fly counter going on right here. All the flies, it's like we got a little class going on behind me. A little seminar. Let's check it out. Got some beautiful peacock bass up there. I got some old old school expert Winchester expert boxes. It's kind of random mixed in with the peacock bass. Those are definitely on my hit list for the coming years. Probably when I'm 45 and halfway retired. Turn off Neo. <laughs> so, as we were walking out, Taylor saw a shaved ice truck and we just had to stop and get shaved ice. So, I ain't gonna lie, it's nice and refreshing on this hot 94 degree day. 94 degree day. <laughs> oh, well, you, you, would you get tiger's blood and I got pineapple? So, yes. Really can't so good. Eat, really can't eat this while I'm driving. So, we're just gonna hang out in the parking lot in the AC, mm -hmm. listen to the rest of this Neo, finish our shaved ice, and head back to the hotel. So this is our last day um, done fishing. As you guys obviously could tell, I did not catch a snook or a jack or a tarpon or anything, except for those tiny little lizard fish, which were more of a nuisance than anything. It was still fun to get out and explore new waters and have a whole new appreciation for saltwater angling. I mean, it is rough on the body, both physically and mentally, and it is tears. It is tears your gear apart. I know when I get home, I'll definitely deep cleanse my reel but besides the fact it was a fun trip uh, me and Taylor had a lot of fun we explored new areas this is our first beach vacation uh, had a lot of good food had a lot of fresh seafood we photographed the wedding and the wedding went perfect huge shout out to Andy and Taylor you guys are awesome thanks for having us photograph your day enjoyed this uh, travel edition of read on the fly I'm not gonna bore you with us going home of us going through security and baggage lane. Just gonna cut the video out while we're here in sunny, beautiful Florida. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.